Hi everyone! In this video I am very excited to show you something new from the company Deck of Scarlet. They are sponsoring this video and have been kind enough to provide the items that I will be reviewing and swatching for you in this video also. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that red subscribe button and also follow Allura Beauty on Instagram. The handle will be in the description box below as well as all the information you need to find out where to purchase these items from Deck of Scarlet or to get more information and any sort of discounts, check the description box for all that information. And if you have been a longtime follower, first of all, thank you. And if you are a new follower, welcome. Um, but also you will hopefully very quickly learn or already know from watching me for a while that I'm very honest on this channel. I very rarely do sponsored videos and it's not going to change my honest opinion to you and my communication to you to what I experience with these products. Even with uh, them providing these products and sponsoring today's video, I will tell you both the good and the bad, and I'm confident that Deck of Scarlet, as a well-known established makeup company, will take both the good and the bad and will continue to improve their subscription box and their products if they need any sort of room for improvement. All right, so let's jump into looking at these new matte velvet lip colors. I'm going to show you swatches on arm swatches. I will also do lip swatches, and I will give you an up-close review. I am wearing one of the shades today, so we'll take a look up close at it and I'll let you know how these wear, how these function, how the formula uh, performs, and anything that I think could be improved. So if you aren't familiar, Deck of Scarlet is a subscription program. Um, they also have individual makeup items from their own company that they have created that are available for purchase online, but most people know them as a makeup subscription box. And most people until recently know them to have these curated makeup palettes. They often collaborate with YouTubers to create curated palettes that have eyeshadows and cheek uh, products and oftentimes a lip color that comes along with the box. But new in 2019, they are starting to change it up. And that's part of the reason for showing you these new items in this video because they have recently brought out a set of new liquid lipsticks. In addition, instead of being bi-monthly, which they used to be, they are now releasing monthly boxes. Now, if you are subscribed to the box, you have the choice, of course, to kind of preview or sneak peek what the next month's items are going to be. And if you don't like them, you have the option to opt out for that next month and skip that month and not get charged for that month. The monthly subscription cost is $29.95 a month. And like I mentioned before, if you are interested in an individual eyeshadow shade or you wanna buy a whole palette that was already released you know, months ago that you didn't happen to get, or if you want to buy one of these individual liquid lipsticks, you can do that through the website directly to purchase individual items. So they do ship to the US for free, Canada and the UK, and they are a cruelty free and paraben free company. So Deck of Scarlet has released six shades of liquid lipsticks, and they are specifically called the matte velvet lip colors. If you are already subscribed to Deck of Scarlet, for the month of February, you will be receiving three of those colors. So I'll show you the three that you'll get in your kit, and then I'll show you the additional three that you could purchase separately if you really like the formula or wanted more of the other colors. So you'll receive a box that looks like this and contains your items for that month. And when you open the box up, you will get a card that lets you know the information for what you're receiving at any given time. And here we can see this is what you should expect. Of course, I received all six shades, but in your kit you will receive three predetermined colors. These are the three shades that you will be receiving uh, if you are already subscribed for the month of February. So we'll start with the lightest shade, which is the one that I am wearing in this video because it matched my kind of peachy, uh, warm toned makeup look the best. This is the shade Brunch Babe. The next shade that you will receive that is uh, slightly darker is called Moody Mauve. Um, this is more of a gray tone shade. You'll see them in the lip swatches in just a second. And then then the most vibrant, boldest shade is called Siren. This is my other favorite shade. Um, you'll see again in the swatches what it looks like. And then if you were to purchase the other, one of the other three shades individually, they will come in a box that looks like this. And the box slides out from the outer sleeve to contain your shade inside. And the shades that are offered individually are called Sin, 
That's the deepest shade. A nudie shade called Slow Jams and a very vibrant pop of color called Trouble. And I want to speak very quickly to the packaging first. Um, I think that this is beautiful packaging, even from the uh, paper outer sleeve to the actual tubes themselves. This is frosted plastic um, and a slightly matted out, kind of slightly rubbery um, handle. And the... <laughs> logo on the end there. You get the name very clear and the name of the product and the amount that you're getting in here. The amount that you get for each of these is 0.12 fluid ounces or 3.5 milliliters. And then the doe foot applicator that you get here looks like this and it is slanted just slightly on the applicator. The claim on these is that these won't smudge or feather throughout the day, that they are supposed to have super saturated pigmentation um, with a creamy formula that glides on effortlessly to help lock in moisture and dries down to a lightweight finish, leaving lips velvety smooth and kissably soft. So let's keep that in mind as I am doing my review and I will let you know at the end when I'm doing the final review. I have tested these lipsticks out. I have worn them and had the shades throughout the day um, to see the longevity and things like that. So I'll let you know if those claims hold up at the end. So if these new liquid lipsticks are something that you are interested in, or if you are interested in subscribing in the future to Deck of Scarlet's monthly makeup subscription box, they are nice enough to provide a 30% off your first box coupon code. And again, I will put that in the description box for you to use. So I will swatch all six of these shades for you. We're gonna start first with the three that you will expect to get in your subscription box. And the three shades uh, from top to bottom are Moody Mauve, Brunch Babe, and Siren. So Moody Mauve is a mid-toned dusty mauve. Brunch Babe is a medium brown toned pink and Siren is a bold blue based classic red. Now that's the description by A Deck of Scarlet. I really think that on the lips, I totally agree with their description in the swatch, which is so bizarre because once this goes on the lips, I think this looks more like a um, candy apple red kind of orange based red. Let me know in the comments below after you see the swatch on the lips what you think this, what kind of red you think this is. And then these are the three shades that you can buy individually. And again from top to bottom you have the shades Slow Jams, Trouble, and Sin. Okay, Slow Jams is a neutral terracotta brown. Trouble, which is a vibrant bright fuchsia with a cool undertone and sin which is a deep intense dark plum okay here are your six shades up close of course these are freshly swatched so i'm going to wait for them to dry down and then show them to you in just a second Okay, so because of the nature of the swatch and the glooping on the borders, those parts aren't quite dry yet, but hopefully you can see the rest of the formula, the way you would realistically apply it to the lips, has dried down. So these are your shades. As you can see, I did, I think, just one swipe in one direction for each of these shades. They're super pigmented. You do not need a ton of product on there to get a, an opaque layer of color. So my final thoughts after using these and swatching them and testing them. I think these are beautiful liquid lipsticks. The thing that I think I like most is the curation of the six shades that have been chosen. I think they have a shade for every sort of style or personal taste, whether you are someone that has more nude uh, tendencies or like more bright colors. My personal favorite is this bright red shade, which I find a little surprising because I typically don't like orangey based reds. I usually don't think they look the best on my skin, but I love this shade and it is a more warm toned red. I love the way that it applies. I love the way that it settles down on the lips, the kind of velvety matte finish. So this is my personal number one. I also do very much like this pinky nude shade that I'm wearing for the video. But going back to the formula, in terms of the claims, it has a, a true to claim, a lightweight feathery kind of feel. You do not feel it really on the lips. If you 
really pressed your lips together and thought about it, you would you would be reminded that you are wearing something on the lips. But otherwise, it doesn't have a tacky feel. It doesn't have a heavy feel. They are fairly easy to apply. Although, of course, those darker um, and brighter shades are less easy to apply just because any sort of little inconsistency or um, lack of straight line is going to show up more noticeably on the lips. So for those, you may want to use a lip liner before you apply those. I don't really sense any sort of added fragrance to the formula, which is nice for people who are particularly sensitive to that kind of thing. These are opaque and vibrant in color. You do not need to dip back into the tube over and over again to get an even opaque layer of color. Um, they do dry down fairly quickly. They are not super drying on the lips. They are not the most moisturizing liquid lipstick formula that I have used. They do show a little bit of signs of drying and let me do a close up so you can actually see this has been on for a good hour or so so we know that this has dried down it has settled this is what it's going to look like okay so hopefully you can see up close the finish and texture you can see the lip lines the natural lip line lip lines on your skin but it is not actively drying it's not pruning up my lips the way some you know more old school liquid lipsticks used to when these were first bringing brought, being brought out to the market and when you press your lips together you can feel a little bit of that creaminess being retained in the formula to help keep the lips hydrated and not too dried out so i think that these are great colors and it has a very good formula. It is long wearing. These are very transfer resistant and smudge resistant. So pressing really, really hard on my skin, you can see there is virtually nothing transferred onto the skin. You can see a little bit of color, but you can see that there's no change, no smudging on the actual application. So these are very nice to be long wearing, even if you drink um, or eat. Of course, if you eat something super oily, oil is the bane of anything, even something long wearing or waterproof that will you know, t tend to lift off whatever you're wearing. But otherwise you should expect these to be very long wearing. I was taking a look at the website before I do my review in research searching the company in seeing what your experience would be like as a potential consumer. And there are a lot of negative reviews for this particular product. And I want to address that because uh, A, I like to be sincere and honest in all of my reviews, whether sponsored or not, and B, to let you know what my thoughts and opinions are. When I was going through the reviews, the negative reviews were all saying, this is not what I subscribed for. I don't want to pay for something where I just get three liquid lipstick shades. I subscribe to this uh, service for the eyeshadow palettes, not for liquid lipsticks. Um, you're getting just three liquid lips for $30. So I was A, uh, surprised that the rating was so low for something that I personally feel like is good quality. But then B, on the other hand, I was a little bit relieved because I realized that the negativity is not coming as a result of the formula itself or the product itself being bad. It's coming from people being discontent with the subscription changing. And I think that's a fair point. Um, and I would expect that Decca Scarlet will try to address that. They do have an option where you are able to preview the the upcoming box and if it's not something that you're interested in then you can opt out you don't have to receive you know a particular palette if it has shades that you know you'll never wear or if you're someone who never wears liquid lipsticks and of course you don't want to spend your $30 that month on a product you know you'll never use it's absolutely fair to say no I don't want to spend my money on that whenever a company changes something drastically from something that they have been doing there's always going to be a level of trying to adapt to that change or people who don't like that change so I think that part's understandable. When I think of myself as a consumer of Deck of Scarlet, I don't want a palette every other month because that influx as a typical consumer is too high. I can't use up a palette in two months, let alone getting six palettes a year and then expecting to use that up. So in my opinion, I am actually very supportive and think it's a good idea for the company to be shifting to having more variety, um, doing something other than just palettes every single time they release a box. So those are just my thoughts. Absolutely feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below, um, whether you are a longtime Deck of Scarlet subscriber or you're thinking of becoming a new one. Please let me know what your thoughts are on these issues. When it comes to the price of the $29.95 for getting three of these, 
I think that's a great price because you're paying less than $10 for each of these tubes. That's definitely less than you would get with most liquid lipsticks. And if you look on a website like Sephora and you look at the price for, let's say, Smashbox's liquid lipsticks that look, um, you know, come in similar size tubes as these or Stila's liquid lipsticks, they, give, they are much more expensive for the amount of product that you get in these tubes. So I don't think in terms of the pricing, I don't think that the pricing is unfair or expensive at all. What I will say is that if you were to go purchase these tubes individually, I believe they're $23 each. And I think that is expensive for a brand like Deck of Scarlet to charge for just one of these. Now, of course, they probably want to incentivize you to subscribe to the box um, instead of buying them individually, which is why you get such a great discount when you have a set of three for just $30 as opposed to buying one for more than $20. So, you know, if you were someone who particularly wanted one of the three individual shades, then yes, I think that it's on the more expensive side for a liquid lipstick, certainly not uh, luxury pricing or anything like that but I do think that you're getting much more of a value with the box, but if you weren't interested in any of these shades and you wanted one of these, you definitely have to pay significantly more. So thank you to Deck of Scarlet for providing these for me to be able to show all of you and hopefully pique your interest in subscribing to Deck of Scarlet. And even if you're not interested in these liquid lipsticks, people seem to be very happy with the uh, palettes that they released. So maybe you wait until next year to start subscribing um, and get a palette for your first time. I also think you have the ability when I saw on the website to choose actually what you get for your first month. So even if uh, normal subscribers for March get a particular thing if you started to be a new subscriber in March I think you get to choose what you get for that month on your first month. All right I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comments below as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch make sure you stay tuned for upcoming exciting videos and I will see you in the next one.